So to my surprise, I apparently have not done this draft on NHL 21 yet, which I don't know why. It's like one of the default, basically, go-tos. Maybe I have done it, and it just didn't come up when I searched it on YouTube. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and perform the right-handed players only draft. I mean, I shoot right, so that's usually the side I start on. So as we normally do, let's randomize the team here and we land on the Rangers. Okay, interesting, interesting. I am down for that. Love the Rangers jerseys. They are legendary, to be honest. And I need to set all this up now. Yes, please. No, thank you. No, I'm good. Yes, but I have to turn off meetings, and I think everything else is good to go. All right, I was almost on a trend of being one off three times in a row. I'm going to say we get number f number 12 this time. Let's see where we land in the draft order. All right, so just go ahead and see if you can randomly guess it, because it'd be cool if you did. If anyone said 25, there you have it. Now, the right draft is actually a little bit harder, especially when it comes to goalies. Well, mostly when it comes to goalies. I would say, you know, righty-lefty players isn't that big of a deal, but... I do want to find a goalie that catches right, even though that probably means they shoot left. I'm going to just basically go off of what it says on the screen there. That says left, so can't pick. I'm going to try to actually find right now who's the best right-handed goalie I can actually even take. So that way I know, basically have like a, a gauge of when to come back. Oh, there we go, Cal. All right, he is 83 overall, so we've got a little bit of time, I think. I feel like, for some reason, why do I feel like Merzlikens or Corby Salo, one of them is right-handed? Maybe. I don't know. We'll check it out, but let's go here now. So we have Bergeron is right-handed. Stamkos also right-handed. Petriangelo is right-handed. All right. We got lots of options here, and honestly, I kind of want to take someone that I don't normally take, so I'm kind of leading towards Marcus Scheifele. So I don't know. Mark, should I pick you up? Tell me. Why should I draft you? All right, let's do it. Mark, get on the team. That is our first pick. A centerman. That's always a solid place to start. And I think we have two pretty close together picks here. But then, it, like, after that, it's a big gap again. So, let's try to, you know, pick up, like, a defenseman maybe here. But Petrangelo's right there. He's staring me in the face. So, that's our guy. No way Jeff Petrie's right-handed. I think I have to. The guy is just unbelievable at what he does professionally, which is play hockey. So I'm going to pick up Petrie. Probably want to try looking at some wingers soon here, though, because, well, you know what? If we get some good defensemen and then we have Peterson in the net, then we might actually do all right regardless. I still remember when I called this guy Rickard Rackle, and everyone's like, are you serious? <laughs> Anyways, uh, Rickard Rackle. Definitely not Ricard Raquel. Let's go ahead and draft him. He's making 3.7. He's 85 overall, and he is, in fact, right-handed. So that will be a good winger and a player that I don't really draft very often, but I feel like I have in the past at some point. Oh, look at that. David Perron. He's the top guy there. He shoots right. only making 4 mil, and he's 86 overall. I do feel like Perron ends up on the team fairly often, but what can you do? Let's scout out our goalie situation now. Hopefully... Oh. Oh, we got time. We've got bear time. Let's just make sure I didn't miss anyone here. So left, left. I'm pretty sure that Peterson was the first one I came across that was right. So I think, yeah, he's still the first one there. Is there anyone after him? Like, who are who are we going to get as our backup? Oh, yeah, I forgot about Pavel Francouz. I don't even know if that's how it's pronounced. That's just one of the first ways I heard it pronounced. On that note, Shea Weber, welcome to the team. 88 overall, 7.8 million. It's a little rough, but you know what? He's right-handed, and our defense is going to be ridiculous. Tyler Toffoli, the legend himself. 4.2, 84 overall, sure, why not? Brian Rust, a right-slash-left winger, actually. 3.5 million. He is a player that I feel like has been picked up in the majority of my drafts, but he's just always, you know, I don't know what it is. He's just good cap and... A good player. All right, just because he's only making 2 million bucks, I'm going to pick up Sammy here. And then I am just going to really hope that either Pavel or Cal are still there. I might actually just pick them as my next one too here if they're both still there. So let's see. Please still be there. They should be. But you never know, I guess. I feel like a lot of teams already took their goalies. So for the most part, we should be all right. But you never really know. Okay, Francis. No! No! Cal's gone! Oh, you're joking. All right, Pavel. 
gloves right. So there you have it. That is unfortunate. I don't know who the next best is going to be now. And I kind of want to find out who took Cal just so we can make them our arch nemesis. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I shoot right and catch left. So does that make me weird? Or is that... N I don't know. I'm trying to think because I said, you know, if you catch right, you probably shoot left. I don't know how true that is. But the reason I think that... It, well, I don't know. I am actually very not sure about that one. But either way, we have Hutchinson as our backup, which is not ideal, but... Well, what about Campbell? Come on. Ah, no. All right. Hutch it is. Kevin Shattenkirk. Offensive defenseman. Shoots right. 3.9 million. Okay. I, we're not looking too good of shape when it comes to staying within the cap space, but, you know, at least we can try our best here. We also still only have one centerman and one left winger, so that is certainly not going to fly. All right. Cap space is definitely going to become an issue here, but Brian Little is right-handed. 83 overall. He's going to be our second line center. And once again, just in case this is the first, you know, draft video you're stumbling upon, I know cap doesn't, you know, theoretically matter because it's just like adjusted or does something anyway. No matter what, you get the team you draft, but... To me, it matters, okay? Bobby Ryan, $1 million, shoots right. Let's go ahead and draft him. Actually, we have $22 million and we need six more players, so we might not go too far over the cap, actually. Wayne Simmons, the Wayne train, let's go. There we have it. That's a prime pickup. 1.5 million, right-handed, and a winger. That is supreme. And on top of that, a power forward, which is apparently really good for chemistry. I have not had the best luck in that regard, but... I've been told, anyway. Travis Hamanick is in defensive... Yep, yeah, there we go. That's our guy. Yes, absolutely. Another prime pickup. So we have $20 million of cap space now, and we actually only need four more players now, actually, I think. So maybe we needed six before. Jason Spezza, right-handed, league minimum, certified beautician. That is another... Our team just come together. It really is. We kind of have the cap space, so you know what? I, I will pick up Dustin Brown. He's a grinder and shoots right. He's a right slash left wing, which a lot of our uh, right wingers actually are both. Two more players and we have $13 million. That can only mean that Jeff Carter is certainly within our cap range. Center sniper at 81 overall might not be the best situation, but... He's, you know, one of the better players we're going to get there. Okay, you know what? Let's just pick up Zach Cassian. Right winger, power forward. And we certainly have to... We actually stayed fairly above the cap this time. I was not ready for that. But we managed to pull it off. And I think that concludes our draft. Yep. All right. Let's go put the team together. I can always tell which draft is the last one. Like, which pick. Because the loading, for some reason, after that just takes significantly longer than the rest of them. Here is the overview of our draft. So, let's go. And, hey. Uh, Rodion Amarov. Is that... I think that's who that is, right? Is that 658? Interesting. So, let's go ahead and put these lines together. Well, here goes nothing. I really do not know what to expect, actually. I believe our team is decent, but it's really not as good as I had anticipated. I also have to take Amarov out because he's not supposed to be there, so let's check who's scratched. It was Spezza. No, you gotta get in there. All right, I'm fine with the plus ones. I'll just do 1-1-0, one, one, oh, and then on offense, we have triple 1-0, oh, and in net, we have... Pavel and Hutchinson. So we aren't the best in the cage, but our team overall is decent. I don't know. I I have a bad feeling about this one. I don't think we'll make the playoffs. I say we get 37 wins and Shifley gets the most points with 70. Well, we started off stronger than I thought we would have already. Like to see that, but that literally means nothing. We are coming up on the trade deadline here. Not doing well. Not doing well at all. We're basically going to need like the the post trade deadline sauce that our be a pro team had. Otherwise, we are not even going to get close to a playoff spot. <laughs> yep, we did not make the playoffs. That comes as no surprise. Raquel had the most points with 60. That is a pathetic season from your New York Rangers. Oh boy, we finished last in the Metro with 75 points, hopefully the left-handed draft is better. That is rough. So here's our stats. He actually had a plus four, which is impressive. Russ was plus 14. Petrangelo plus 13. Perron was dash 22. Shifley dash 14. Wow. All right. Did anybody... Who who did the, the least here for points? We've got Spezza with nine. Unreal. Why do you only play 50? What happened? 
Why did that happen? Oh, I know why it happened. Because I was so sick and tired of the chemistry, and I feel like it does nothing, by the way. I think it's just a bunch of hogwash, but I went to do best lines, and I didn't even think about it. So, yeah, he got put back in. It didn't make a difference, though, so I don't feel bad. In the entire league, Dreisaitl and Mac will be sharing the Art Ross this year. Nobody got 100 points, but they both got 99. Kessel with 95. There you go, Phil the Thrill. Look at him go. What a beauty. Sagan at 94. Bergeron, 92. Kucherov, 91. K 91. Barkov, 91. Marner, 90. And let's check out the goaltenders here just to see who got the most wins. Corpy Solo. And he gloves left, so never mind. I don't know if Merzlikens is possibly right, but... I, anyway, here you go. Here's the goalie stats. Let's simulate the playoffs and see who wins this thing and then check out the awards. I actually very briefly looked at the Ducks roster by accident because I hit view lines instead of edit lines to start the video off there. I mean, I didn't do it on camera, but yeah, I, I, the only person I remember is Taylor Hall, but really I don't think their team looked that amazing. So I don't know. Let's just see what happens here. Maybe they were really good and I just didn't have a long enough look, but... Who will be the Stanley Cup champions? It will be the Columbus Blue Jackets. Columbus had Kucherov, Kopitar, Kuznetsov. That would just be a filthy first line. I mean, even if you threw Mantha on there as well. Yeah, that's just a really good first line. Gerard, Robert Thomas, like 83, 84, okay. Uh, Kasha, 45. Krug, 45. Miles Wood. All right, so they, they have a pretty good team overall. Who did they have in Nets? Let's see. They had Kadahat. There he is. 87 overall with a 912, 270. Miko Koskinen as the backup. And then if we check out the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, they had Corpy Solo and Montembeau, who both did quite well. And if we go to all skaters, they had Sagan, we saw him, Olofsson, Spurgeon, Quinn Hughes, Anders Lee, Stahl. They, yeah, okay, they, they have a pretty good team here, I must say. In terms of awards, let's just go through the team quick here. Boom, and individual, we got Leo with the Art Ross, but he... Apparently is not splitting it. I don't know how that works. I thought maybe they do, but I guess that's not how that works. Anyway, Kessel with the heart. Burns with the Norris. Kessel with the bing. Call Memorial goes to Lafreniere. Con Smythe to Cooch. Corby Sala with the Vesna and the Jennings. Doughty with the Masterton. Jack Adams goes to Payer. Ryan O'Reilly with the Frank J. Selgi. Ted Lindsay goes to Phil. And the Rocket Richard goes to Washington's own. Austin Matthews. So here's the playoff tree, guys. Left-handed draft coming up next. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I will catch you guys soon.